Hello everyone, and welcome to Gospel Wearworks. My name is James, and today, as you can see, we are working on another LSWR coat, which is a LSWR 48 foot tri composite coat lavatory because it has got some lavatories and it's tri composite. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much going to be reusing parts from the uh, previous coats, which is why I've got uh, uh, the ends, the uh, floor, and the roof, and also part of the side, just so I can do the uh, panel down here. Uh, the roof i'll be removing these bits which uh as and when needed because i don't need all of them but it's just it just saves time just keeping them there the main work for today is pretty much just working on this top panel so here we go uh, i have got an example of the previous one uh, this is of the fixed version uh from the print actual printed uh copy because i did have to fix it a little bit uh, so this is all the right measurements which I need, so that when I print it, it should look perfectly fine. One thing which I will need to add uh, to this version and also the previous version is just some uh, things longitudinal, basically uh, some more strengthening across the entire length of the coat, just to make it a bit more rigid, so there's no more warping. Because the uh, previous one, first time I did it, it ended up being like, looking like a banana. Uh, second time I did it, uh, what was it third? One of them, um, <laughs> the one which actually sits in my collection now, has a very slight curve to it, and I've, I'm hoping that I can fix that now. What it needs is just some uh, strengthening across the entire length. So I will be adding some uh, extra beams across there, and then I'll copy them over to the uh, other version. So that is the plan. So most of it is just by, um, me copying the bits which I've got here, because they're already the right size, and then just putting them all into the right places and making sure that they all are the right measurements. So this doesn't actually take me too long, maybe an hour, hour or two, something like that. Because, uh, yeah, I said, why rebuild something which I've already built? So saves time, makes sense to me. And, uh, also, for those um, who are wondering, yeah, I can actually see the lines quite clearly when I'm doing the drawings. I don't ignore that little gap. There's always a little bit of a discrepancy, annoyingly, but uh, this is measured so it fits in that gap. So don't worry. Um, <laughs> it will look right when it's all done. But um, this is just because uh, when I take the picture, or uh, scan it in, it's a little bit skew with. So, uh, but it should look nice when it's all done. And um, yeah, I'll be happy to have a second coat to run around, uh, run behind uh, one of my LSWR uh, locos. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop yabbering on and also remind myself that I need to buy more transfers um, <laughs> and uh, get to work on um, doing the coach. So um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, be about an hour, so see you in a bit.
here we are with the finished um updates really i did have to leave out two of the walls because uh well need access to putting the screws so i can put the bogies on but uh yeah otherwise it looks rather nice yeah I'm quite happy with that uh i did have to mess about with the uh top details for this paneling here was uh found out it was a little bit too high um <laughs> i thought it was correct but uh yeah it's it's sometimes it's a hit and miss of um how you want things really so uh but hopefully when it's shrunk down uh you won't be able to actually tell any difference anyway so uh yeah, I'm quite happy with that, and hopefully all this will come out quite well because um, uh, this section was taken off from the printable version of the uh, first coats, so hopefully all of this should look uh, well. It should come out quite well as well. So, uh, and uh, yeah, there are some little bits on top of the roofs which I can't quite tell. Uh, it's basically these little. It's here. There may be handrails because there's handrails on the end, well, on the end, but there's nothing about the uh, lavatories, so I've not added them. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. And I have added the strengtheners. Uh, hopefully, they will work. Uh, I'll test it on this coat before I add it to the previous version. So, if the, this one works with these. Um, well, it's it'll, I'll just quickly add it to the uh, old one. Uh, if not, I'll just make them a bit more thicker and hopefully not intrude too much into the actual coach interior. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. And I hope everyone else is as well. So uh, yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I know it's a little bit uh, copy pasty from the previous one, but it saves time. And, <laughs> and it only took me about an hour and a half to do this entire video. Well, just the coach bit itself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm pleased with it. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, if you feel free to support me, there's. I can't remember if this is before I mentioned Patreon. Uh, I'm maybe close to Patreon. If not, uh, if I am, feel free to support me on uh, the YouTube uh, membership thing, which everyone I'm still running. But uh, if you didn't like it, well, hope you enjoyed it anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna start heading off to bed because uh, it's um decided to head in bed early because <laughs> yeah, my back is killing me. Um, <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone, and I hope to see you again next time. So uh, that's when I get around to build. I think this when I get around. If I'm not putting anything else together in between, I'll be putting this together in the next video. Anyway, see you again. Bye bye now.